Hello, my name is Steve Damasco. I am the founder and the director of the Strength and Honor Foundation. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you what we're going to be doing with this foundation. About a year ago, we opened a Strength and Honor Karate School in a town that is predominantly welfare. Kids are getting into a lot of trouble and there's a lot of drugs. We only ran it three days a week and we ran it with a Marine. And he's been volunteering his time to teach in that school along with some of my other black belts. These kids have gotten into trouble in school. Their grades were poor. Some of them were bullies. Behavior was off the charts. Not all of them, but a good majority of them. Across the board, they've improved their behavior, their grades, and their, and their attendance in school. The parents cannot believe the transformation we've made with these kids in a year. I got 35 years experience in this. I have been working with at-risk youth for over 35 years, from prisons to detention centers, to kids that just come and ask for help. I can't begin to tell you what this has done for children. I grew up on welfare. I grew up on Sp in Spanish Harlem, New York, and to the projects of Brockton, Massachusetts. If it wasn't for martial arts, if it wasn't for a mentor in my life, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. Now let me tell you about even more exciting news that this foundation is gonna do. There are 720,000 unemployed vets in this country. I'm sure you've heard it all over the news. These are people that have signed up to go and serve their country, to protect their families, and they're coming out and there's nothing here for them. What a better foundation that they could have than to come here, train for four to six months, learn how to teach and mentor children from the ages of four to 17 years old, use all that knowledge to help children. Now they're giving back again. There is nothing like this in the country. It's unprecedented where you're gonna be having unemployed vets wherever they live and children wherever they live and being able to serve both of these populations. We're very, very excited. It's a big goal. Our goal is to train 30 or 40 of these people every single year and send them back to their cities where they live into these areas and open these schools, the Strength and Honor Karate Schools. The lessons are free. These kids, where we're gonna open, can't afford these lessons. But there's one very, very important element here, something my mother told me, because we were raised on welfare, we lived in the projects, is giving back. It's going to be free, but they're gonna be trained how to give back to their community. They're gonna all be taught, in, in addition to being mentored, they're gonna be taught how to do community service. So in a way, they are paying for those lessons. We have the statistics. It's unprecedented. Grades, behavior, attendance in school, the ability to complete assignment independently. It's incredible what mentoring and the principles of respect, self-discipline, self-control, and taught in the right way will actually do for these children. And psychologically, think about this. These veterans that are coming out of the service, that are displaced, are upset. Some of them are very depressed because again, they want to serve their country and they're here and nobody wants them. Well, we want them. We want them and those kids need them. And I can begin to tell you what a difference this will make in everybody's life across the board. It's a big goal. We can do this, but I need your help. Thank you so much.